welcome back and in this video we are going to find uh, what really is system preferences what we can find in here so in windows it's ex it's equivalent of uh, control panel even though in windows 10 they are really uh, parting away from uh, uh, screen control panel and it's uh, harder to and harder to find uh, uh, settings inside control panel and then it's available in elsewhere uh, you really have to search and find it and it's in uh, via settings or you really need to know those msc dot msc uh, shortcuts so yeah windows administration is uh, not what it used to be now so over here in macbook uh, we have this this is all, all the control setting you can see that just like windows we have mouse trackpad because it's a macbook keyboard printer scanners etc so this is all the uh, options here or you can search them for example uh, display let's see we have a display and right there so uh, in windows you'll have to go right click and display settings or all that so over here this is the way of going about it so either you can search it which i really like or you can actually go there so since i have this screen i can i have two way of going back to the main screen either i can uh, go back using the back one but if i'm deep on in different settings then i simply can click over here and it will take me to the very main screen now desktop and screensaver so you can see these are the desktop which one or whichever you like you can uh, uh, just put it on display for example it will show you right there in the back you can see it's changing so different ways of uh, getting your dis uh, uh, display now I think I really have messed it up I like the old one I think that was this one so that, that that's a pretty good one so uh, this was used to be way way back I'm gonna go with this one so screensaver again which kind of screensaver you want or what you want it to do what happened here oh there's no screensaver right now here uh, maybe it needs to be set up uh, we'll get to that later on the other thing I cool thing is the um docs where is it desktop general oh yeah this is the doc theme and all that uh, uh actually let's go back there so this uh i i don't know if you are um <clears throat> like it depends on the kind of person uh, when I was working in Spectrum, a lot of people, because we had to stare at the screens all the time, uh, like 100% of our uh, work, uh, we were staring at these screens. So a lot of people had dark themes installed and in Windows, they really had to go and uh, um, be creative because even if the Windows forced the dark theme, Chrome did not and they had to go and do some settings in Chrome or you know make make those settings apply to applications as well softwares uh, right now at a, like in my current role uh, we really don't have to stare at the screen 100 percent of the time but what i do is that i still keep my monitor uh, uh, like a blue light turned off and my screen is all uh, you know uh, with a blue filter on uh, not only in the windows but from the monitors as well so this is uh, this this is all that uh, i don't know if i can see the blue screen filter over here i'm not gonna uh, take that much time but let's see what are these so you can see these are actually changing the menu uh, inside the menus uh, right there orange and green so i'm gonna keep it to the uh, according to the theme of the uh my mac and this one is actually the dark theme so basically it will turn everything dark and this one is auto so the other one is the really interesting basically during the daytime it will be the light theme and during the evening hours it will be 
the dark theme. So I'm gonna go with the light one and you can see it's light now. Because uh, if you can see it's uh, time is almost five in the morning. That's why when I click uh, auto, it gets me to the darker theme for the evening hours. I'm gonna stick with the light one for the now uh, because uh, that's good for the uh, video. The other one is like security, privacy, notification. You can check everything here, here. And sounds in uh, Windows, it's called audio, I believe. So you can go and play around different settings. What I will recommend, uh, uh, you don't go, like that's how we learned Windows back in the day in the XP. Uh, we faced a problem, then we d dug up the solution. And then, you know, uh, same thing, uh, just play around, feel it, and you will learn a lot more than just uh, uh, going about it. So let's see what's in printer and scanners. Can it detect my printer? Uh, no printers are available. Click add. So if I click add, uh, through the network, it did find my printer right there. And Bonjour uh, is the basically the um, air print server, whatever uh, Apple calls it, different name. That's uh, the one. I'm not going to add it right now because I really don't print from something from here. But when I want to, I will. Again, let's go back here. Accessibility is the same in Windows where we have like uh, text to speech or uh, the text is uh, bigger. For, so you can easier uh, it's easier for you to uh, look at it the really interesting one user and groups so I can add actually more uh, user I can actually I should actually add uh, uh, a user for my son he keep messing uh, my account all right so this is it for the settings you feel free to uh, go deeper and deeper we will see come back and see some uh, settings stand alone in uh, in an, in their own videos for example time machine that's basically uh, the equivalent of where uh, what's it called F file and history in windows 10 and backup in windows 7 so file backup so we'll come back to it so let's wrap this video here it's been it's almost oh uh, it's a hit it's gonna hit the 10 minute mark so let's wrap it here if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one